Healthy Living, brought to you by the Christ Hospital. Aortic stenosis is thickening or hardening of the aortic valve, often as a process of aging and often associated with the classic risk factors for atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease like smoking, high blood pressure, high cholesterol. And this impairs or reduces the mobility of the valve so that the heart has to work much harder to pump blood across this valve to get it out to the body. Aortic stenosis is one of the two most common valvular heart problems we see. Aortic stenosis and mitral regurgitation rank amongst the top five Medicare cardiac discharge diagnoses. So these are common. It increases as a function of age. 10% or more of people who are 80 years of age or older have some degree of aortic valve stenosis, and up to a third of those can be severe. So this is common in an aging population, and it's a need, a void that must be addressed. Well, the classic triad of symptoms are shortness of breath, particularly with exertion, chest tightness or discomfort, particularly with exertion, and then lightheadedness or passing out. That's the classic triad of shortness of breath, chest pain, lightheadedness, that once those occur, the average survival is only between one and two years. It's pretty easy to figure this out. Uh, just listening to the chest, you almost invariably have a murmur, a certain type of murmur, systolic ejection murmur, in the aortic area, and then you get an echocardiogram, a sound wave test of the heart, which is very uh, definitive with respect to heart muscle function and what the gradient or pressure difference across that valve is. It allows us to determine the severity of aortic valve stenosis non-invasively without putting any catheters in. Our team is constantly refining the process, constantly trying to improve the process to optimize patient outcomes and also to minimize the trauma and the inconvenience of the procedure. If you can imagine coming in, having your aortic valve replaced, you're 80 years old, you had prior bypass surgery 15 years ago, a common scenario, and you're going home the next day. It's pretty remarkable. I mean, you're walking home home, not to a chronic care facility. You're going home. There's a stark contrast between the procedures, between having your breastbone sawed open and wired back together, and during the procedure having your blood circulated in a machine and your heart effectively stopped, to never stopping the heart, and the patient to being under conscious sedation with no surgical incisions, literally having Band-Aid placed on, over the femoral artery, which is our choice of access, preferably but also in the vast majority of cases. And so this is a transformational, I mean, changes the whole process of care, allows patients um, to get in and out of the procedure to get their valve replaced with much less physical insult, much more rapid functional recovery. And I think it's changed the game of what we do. We're fortunate in that we've led the way. We've led the way nationally, in these collaborative studies. Uh, we've had each technology two to three years before it's generally available uh, for other physicians. Uh, we've gained an experience and we've altered our process and evolved our process for taking care of these patients in accordance with the other centers who are in the st studies, which are the best centers in America. So we've been very fortunate to be part of that process. This procedure is one of the truly transformational changes in cardiovascular medicine. Call 513-206-1234 or visit thechristhospital.com for more information.